Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. Today, I want to talk to you about a really important part of your home office setup, your chair. It's just a chair. Why does it cost so much? Is it just a chair? Well, I mean, yes, it is, obviously. But if you spend your whole workday sitting in your chair, it's really important. For those working from home, it can be even more important. You might spend the workday in the chair and then a chunk of your recreation time as well. It's possible it could rack up 8, 10, 12 hours a day or more for weeks and months on end. That's a lot of time. It's a bit like a bed. 8 plus hours a day is a third of your life. We spent more on our last mattress than I did on my first car, about 3000 Australian dollars. I want to be comfortable for that length of time. On top of the workday, I spend a bunch of my evenings and weekends in this same chair, even when I'm not working from home. That's why I decided it was worth spending a decent amount of money for a decent chair. The one that I had been using for the last 12 months, which I got secondhand somewhere, was getting lower and lower, faster and faster. It was time. I checked in with my best mate Jace to see his thoughts, and he shared his story of his office chair. This was at the start of our first lockdown nearly 18 months ago, when we were all, all of a sudden, pushed to work from home a lot more. He had a specific requirement for a chair that you could lift the arms out of the way. And so he went for this one, which was great, but it only lasted about 15 or 16 months before the gas lift went on it. A quick look at the specifications sees that it's only designed for three to five hours of use per day. So between working from home, some gaming, and some recreational web surfing, it was way over its duty cycle. Side note, we worked out while researching this that it actually had a three-year warranty, so he's busy chasing that up. I hunted around for several hours to find a good chair at the right price, and it had to be available for relatively quick collection or delivery. I ultimately settled on this one, the GX2 by 1X, in blue. Honestly, I would have preferred green, but that would have required me waiting another three or four days for delivery. And I just wasn't comfortable in the old chair anymore. I ordered it Friday at lunchtime, knowing it would be ready for collection sometime on Saturday, but was surprised to get a text at 2.09 p.m. on Friday to say that it was ready for collection. That meant I could grab it while I was out and set it up last night. When I was buying it, I also decided to spend the extra $15 for the extra cover and replacement plan from Officeworks so that I got what was, in effect, a three-year warranty. Assembly was actually quite easy, although a little confusing for a few minutes because there were two sets of screws in the box, one of which had been opened and resealed. So I suspect this chair may have been opened at some stage before I got it. I checked it over and everything seemed to be fine and it went together happily, so I'm not too worried about that. I think it took a little longer than the scheduled 30 minutes, but I was working in a fairly tight space and I wasn't particularly in a hurry. Here it is, set up and ready to go in position for recording. 
I've only sat in it for around four or five hours. So this is an early look. It's definitely firmer than my old chair, so it will take a little bit of getting used to in that respect. I'm also not 100% sure about the lumbar support. It feels just a little bit thicker than I'd really like. But I'll persevere with it for a while before I try it without. I do have a mild case of lordosis, so the extra support should be ideal. I just have to get it right, for me. I can release the lever so that I can rock backwards and forwards in it, which is great for just providing a bit of exercise for your legs if you're sitting for a length of time. Although I can't do it here with the back up against the bookshelf. It will in fact kick back until I'm almost horizontal, although I can't honestly see why I'd want to use it that way. Maybe if I had a VR headset on and was relaxing somehow, it might be useful. Dunno. First impressions are good, and it certainly looks the part. And to be honest, I'd love to try one of their premium chairs just to see what the difference is. Question of the day. How much time do you spend in your chair each day? Is it comfortable or is it time for an upgrade? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys and fix it when it breaks. There's some older episodes you may not have seen before here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here or to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.